someday that my brand new little nephew, um, who's six months old, will be able to listen to you when he's old enough to understand. Um, or that my children someday, or that even their children, would be able to listen to you and, um, and know where they come from. Um, and so I decided to write a song for my parents. Um, their love story, I think, is really special. And uh, I actually put the song in a set list before I knew they were coming, and then they ended up coming tonight, so you'll have to forgive a shaky voice <laughs> if it comes to that. But um, my dad joined the Navy when he was a teenager, and uh, at 19, um, he was in Puerto Rico, and my mom was on vacation with some friends. Um, she's from Ireland, and the stars aligned, and they met each other, and she had to go home um, because she was on vacation, and, uh, and she was actually engaged to someone else. And when she went home, she, uh, she broke off her engagement, and her family and her friends thought, are you crazy? You, you met a guy in a dance club when you were breaking off her engagement. <laughs> um, but she did. Um, but then, um, as it would turn out, she wasn't able to come back um, to the United States or go anywhere, really, because her dad um, grew terminally ill, and she wanted to stay with him. So she ended up writing letters with my dad for two years. And, uh, and at the end of those two years, she decided she was going to come visit. And instead of just visiting, she ended up staying and got married on, at the end of her vacation. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're married 33 years this year. This song is called The Rosy Rose, which is the nickname for the naval base.